Hi everyone! I noticed that you are quite enjoying my previous tutorial about 20 Finder tips, so I decided to make one more video about Finder, and more specifically about how to quickly access any important file on your Mac. Imagine that this is a file I need to be accessing many times a day. But it's somewhere deep in the finder. I want to have a quick way how to open it. You might want to put the file on the desktop to access it easily. But what if the file is actually part of some project and it's not good to move it away from its original folder? I can actually add just a desktop alias. To create alias, you drag the file over the desktop but hold down the option key and the command key. You need to press both. This little curved arrow here next to the file name tells you that you are holding the correct keys. If I release it here, I can see the icon has the same curved arrow. The file itself is still in the folder where it belongs, but I can access it at any time by double clicking it here right on the desktop. And once I don't need it anymore, just drag it to the bin. What if I want to keep desktop free? No problem. I can also put an ILS like this in the dock. The way to do that is to simply drag it to the dock, but not to the left side. This place is only for applications, but on the right side, where you usually have the bin icon and downloads, here you can edit. Now if I want to open it up, I can just go to the dock and click on it once there. And to go even further, you can create folder with aliases like I have here. I don't need to overfill left side of the dock with applications. I can create folder with these applications on the right. This is just for an inspiration. Let's move on. Next very obvious way how to find files is to use Spotlight. So while this isn't the quickest way to access a file, it does have advantages over all the other methods. One is that you don't need to do anything in advance. It's a simple search, you don't need to set anything for it. Just go right ahead and use command space, type the name and find the file straight away. You don't usually need to type the whole name to find the file. But problem with this method is that you actually have to remember the name. But let's go back to finder now. For me the best way how to quickly access the file is right here in the sidebar. Here you already have many folders under your favorites. But you can actually add just a simple file here. There is one trick to it. If you simply drag the file there, it will drop it in one of these folders. But if you hold down command key, you can add it to the list of favorites. Now it will always be there wherever I am inside of a finder. And while we are dragging the file to the left sidebar, we can add it the same way to the toolbar. Again, hold down the command key and place it somewhere between these icons. It's not so much space here like in the sidebar, but it's another option how to quickly access files. As you can see, I usually use this to add applications here, like the VLC player. So I can drop any video into this icon and open it in VLC. Now if I want to get rid of the file, I can use the same method, hold the command key again and drag it away. Same for both, the toolbar and sidebar. Don't worry, the file will not be removed from the folder. This is something similar to the alias icon. If we look once more in the finder sidebar, you can usually find tags on the bottom of it. I can apply a tag on my document using this button. Well, there are actually many ways how to apply tags and how to make them useful. I have it all described in details in a different video. Watch it if you are interested in finding the tags, but for the purpose of this video, I will just simply tag the file. Now I will be always able to quickly access it through the sidebar. This isn't the fastest method in the list, but it has one advantage. Because I can easily tag more files with the same tag from different places of my disk and they will all be quickly accessible from the same folder. Plus I can easily manage it. Anytime I want to remove a file from here, I just click on the same icon and delete the tag. 
so it's easy to add files and remove them without physically moving them from their real folders. Now if you want to make it a little bit quicker, then you can add the whole folder to the dock. To do that drag the tags from the finder sidebar here to the right side of the dock and you will see that the tag appear there. Now if you click on it, you get a whole list of files with this same tag. Another place where you can quickly reopen files you have recently worked on is the list of recent items under the Apple menu. Here is the file I am looking for. But this list is not what I want to show you. The thing is that any item that's listed in the menu bar can have a custom keyboard shortcut. Again, I have a whole video about custom keyboard shortcuts. You can find the link for it in the description. But let me show you how it's done in this quick example. First, remember the name of the file properly. Go to System Preferences, then to Keyboard, switch to Shortcuts tab, and down here to the App Shortcuts. To add a shortcut, now press the plus button. Here, type the exact name. If you don't remember, it's easier to copy it from the file, because it really needs to be the exact match. Now choose a shortcut and it's done. To confirm that it works, I can reopen the Apple menu and see that it has a shortcut now. I will press Ctrl Option Command Plus and it will open it. Another way how to not really access the file but the folder where the file is located would be to set the new finder window to open on that specific location. If I press Command N now, the finder will open on the hard disk level. But if I go to find the preferences, I can set in which folder the new window will open. I can choose that specific folder to be opening. Now if I press Command N, new finder window will open right there. This last tip might not sound right, but it's really what I do. If I need to work on a file many times a day, I just never close it. On a Mac it's perfectly ok to leave an application like Pages, Numbers, Safari or whatever it is running on the background. You can have it on another desktop or just simply hide it with Command H. The document will be always ready to use without the need of reopening it again. So which is the technique you like to use? Or would you recommend another way how to quickly access files? I hope you have learned something new and I can't wait to show you what I have ready in the next video. So see you there.